Hi Pisces, welcome back to your daily reading. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. This is Crystallized Tarot. I read tarot and I channel songs for the Pisces Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus through spirit. So, readings may resonate with you if you have Pisces anywhere in your chart. I'll give you a daily channel song that may or may not resonate with every Pisces as I try and focus on one story each day. All my readings are timeless, so if the title resonates with you, it may be for you. I also offer personal readings and healing services, so for all the details, check below in the description box. And all donations are gratefully received, so check the description box for the payment details too. Also, follow me on Instagram at Crystal Eyes Tarot, where I drop knowledge daily too. So let's get into your reading. Don't believe for a minute that they are with you. Don't be the people over hills and valleys too. Don't let them fool you. Don't believe for a minute they don't like you. I try to make I am happy. Really, I don't know. If it was up to them, my friend, you would never see the sun or the snow. Mystical communication within We keep on coming together I love to see Brothers and sisters Looking out for one another So those are the lyrics that I heard for you Pisces And the song was by Budja Bantam And it's called Hills and Valleys So I shuffled some cards to see What guidance I can get for this person And straight away I've got the Five of Pentacles and I've got a strong feeling because I can see an elderly couple in this in this card. Yeah, I've got a strong feeling that you could be like, you know, somebody's wife and their husband may have been ill. Yeah, and because there's a Five Pentacles, I feel like you've been caring for them and you've been looking after this ill person for at least five years. That's what I'm getting with this card. So this person could be your husband. They don't have to be. It could be your father or something like that. But I've got a strong energy of a husband and wife in this card. Yeah. So as I was saying, the person was ill and you've been looking after them. You've been doing all their you know, things that they need done for their personal care, for example. Yeah, you've been helping this person to get the things they need and to aid them through, you know, this illness that, they, that they've had. So, yeah, you're their carer. That's what I'm getting with this card. And I feel like you're the only carer as well, even though I can see others in the background. I feel like you're their main carer. You're the main person who helps this this ill person, your ill husband. Yeah, so next I've got the Ace of Swords. Yeah, yes. so I'm feeling like something gets cut off. So maybe it's this person, maybe, you know, their life's being cut off. Or maybe some people are going to cut you off. I'm not sure, but I've got a strong energy of something being cut off with this with this knife and I feel like it's you, the wife, because I can see like a, a princess crown at the top. So I feel like you're gonna get cut off in some kind of way or something's being cut out. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, so next I got the death card in reverse. So I feel like your person could have passed away, Pisces. So I'm, I'm very sorry to hear that. I'm, my condolences are with you and your family right now. Yeah, so this person could have died. I'm getting, I've got a strong energy of a death and a funeral with this card. So maybe they fought through the battles of this illness, but they lost the, 
the fight in the end. That's what I'm kind of getting with the deck card in reverse. This person passed over. Yeah, so next I got the Six of Pentacles, but it was in reverse. So I feel like this person may have left like their estate to you, their wife. But they, you know, they probably wrote a will or something like that. And they wanted you to share it with, you know, their children or other family members. So that's your job right now to, you know, equally divide, you know, their estate or this inheritance between you all. That's what I feel like in this card. Yeah, so next I've got the Knight of Swords. And I see people rushing in in this card so maybe lots of family members rushing once this person died but i still feel like you're the person who cared for them but they're rushing in after they've died so maybe it's the inheritance what's making them all you know rush towards you but at the same time i see this guy with the sword in his hand so i feel like they're rushing in and and they're, they're doing it in quite um a greedy kind of mean way you know what I mean? Because you're the sole carer. I feel like they're, they're coming in to take. That's what I feel like with this card. Yeah, so next I've got the King of Swords in reverse. And I see a lot of family members are very, you know, mean to you in this card. They haven't considered that you've lost your husband. And, you know, they, they, they just want to take whatever he left behind kind of thing. So they're coming in with a quite mean and greedy vibe. That's what I'm getting with the, the King of Swords. Yeah, so next I got the Ace of Wands. And I feel like, you know, someone's abusing their power with this card. Because, you know, you are this guy's wife and you deserve, you know, to be left behind whatever they left for you. Yeah, they're abusing their power. As I feel that you was the sole carer for this person. They didn't want to help you when this person was ill. They didn't come forward to offer that support that you needed. But now this person's died, they've all rushed in with this mean and angry vibe. And I feel like they're quite being, you know, you know, greedy with you. They want this all for themselves and they don't want to include you in the person's inheritance. That's what I'm getting. They're trying to cut you out of it and they're abusing their power because you're this person's wife. And, you know, everything's probably been left to you. But they're coming to take and that's an abuse. So they're not being very nice to you in this, you know, instance. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, so next I've got the Eight of Cups. And I feel like this person wanted you to be happy. So they left behind a will for you. And they wanted you to share it with everybody, which you was going to. But because, you know, these people have rushed in quickly... It's like they don't want you to be happy. They just want to take everything this person's got and leave you with absolutely nothing. And, you know, you person did ultimately want to leave this for you, for you to be happy. And they're taking that happiness away from you, even though you're sad at the moment. This was left behind to kind of help you through the rest of your life. And these people are taking your happiness away. That's what I'm getting. They're just thinking of themselves. Yeah, so next I've got the Hierophant in reverse. And I see people here in a courtroom. So maybe you've had to take them to court. Or maybe they've taken you to court. And they're trying to take away all the, you know, the goods that your, your husband has left behind for you. They're taking things that they shouldn't take, even though you was offering to give them something. They wanted it all, so they took you to court. That's what I'm hearing. And they, you know, they've just been, you know, downright rude. That's how I feel with the Hierophant in reverse. It's like an abuse. Yeah, so I got the Nine of Wands for the clarity that I asked for. And I just see you standing there completely disappointed and disgusted in how these people have treated you. Over money and goods, they could disrespect you and take away your home and take away anything this person left behind for a better life for yourself. So I just see you carrying off whatever's yours and leaving these people behind and starting a new life on your own. 
And as I see all these ones around you, that's your angels protecting you from these evil people, Pisces. Do not worry. God has your back. And you don't need people like this in your life. You deserve better people. And that's all you can attract after going through all this shit and seeing these people for who they really are now. You will never have to be around these kind of people again. They don't deserve you one bit. And this is your message, Pisces. So I hope this message helps you. And try and move forward positively in the future because not everyone has the levels of deceit that these people have gone on with. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye, Pisces.